So, sister, how did it go? Hmm. I'm afraid it didn't go the way we hoped it would. I think we, we have to raise the money here ourselves. And then the two of us will have to decide which one of us have to make the trip to Ghana. Ah, sister, you know I can't go to, I can't travel this time to Ghana. You know it, sister Lydia. It will be difficult for me to enjoy. Hey, well, Lydia. Hey, Brian James. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you too. <laughs> are you eating somewhere? Yeah, 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 yeah. We are just going for a bookshop. Oh, very bookshop. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ready to go? Off we go, Madra. Okay. Bye bye, darling. Bye bye, sweetheart. Is Lila going out with him? Yes. He usually goes out with her anytime I'm busy. And she follows him. Dressed like that. What's wrong with that? Sister Lydia, let me tell you one thing. Lila is a young lady. And they follow modern trends. What can I do about it? Oh, I try. Do you know what causes men to rape women? It's what they see regularly with their eyes. The nudity of women on the street. Very provocative dressing everywhere you look. <laughs> I beg to disagree with you, big sister. There is no excuse. No man has the right or excuse to rape a woman because of the way she dresses. Oh yeah? Has the thief the right or any excuse to enter your private house and steal when you so carelessly leave your house ajar? Look, a rapist is a thief of sex. A thief of sex? Yeah! <laughs> oh! I like that. Keep tempting or provoking him. When the incitement builds up in him over time, uh -uh, he will strike without warning and still sex in your pudding. What's that? Oh, that precious little jewel God gave you, which belongs to your husband alone, but which all men want to have a bite of. Pudendo. Pudendo. <laughs> ah, my God. I'm most disappointed, Ajoa. You are my younger sister, of whom I always wish the best for. But it seems like you throw away any kind of advice that I offer you. Oh, sister. I always listen up to you. I always listen oh, to you. Oh, really? Is this the first time that I'm complaining about Lila's board dressing? Huh? Why do I allow your teenage daughter me to go out so nakedly dressed and not a hmm. But she's going out with her, with her stepfather. What's wrong with that? Step father Ajua. Read my lips. James is Lila's step father. Do not ever forget about that. I, I, I don't I don't get you. The stepfather? So what? Oh. So are you telling me that you don't know? that even biological fathers are known to take it on their own daughters? Oh my God! I can't believe this! That 
the man that I'm married to, who loves like Lila as his own daughter, who was sexually molested. Oh, because of the way she dresses. Sis, don't put words into my mouth. I'm not saying that James is going to rape Lila. I'm just trying to give you a timely caution. Don't let your daughter put her stepfather into avoidable temptation. Avoidable temptation? Oh, sister. Is that how you see my husband? A man capable of being tempted and assault her own stepdaughter because of the way she dresses. Sure. Why do you make me feel so guilty? <sighs> eh? Who else? Ajua. Who else? But your sister who loves and cares so much about you and your child will give you such a good but difficult advice. As they say, prevention is better than cure. What are you doing? Troy. Daddy. I mean, what do you mean by that? Daddy, why does mommy always criticize what I do? What I wear, where I can go. Babe, you are not. Am I becoming less independent as I grow older? No, you are not. Then why must I be forced to wear something that I don't want to wear? You know, Leila. You know that you can't go to your auntie's house looking like that. You understand? You can't go to your auntie's house, you know, like the way you want to dress. And that is exactly what your mom is educating you like that about. You understand? It's not that he is harsh on you or hard on you. You understand? It's not nice to go to your auntie's house with such a dress. Daddy, right? don't worry. When I get to my own place, I'll put back my overcoat. But for now, let my body enjoy this atmosphere. Welcome to the clan, yeah, baby. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Oh, I love you so much, my beauty queen. Mm. Love you too, my beauty. Will you stop that, David? Come on, please, Leila. Also, stop it. Just one. No, more. stop it. Just hey, David, stop hey. It. hey. What are you trying to do to my girl? Your girl? Leila? Leila is our girl. I belong to none of you. Look, David, let me tell you. If you don't stop harassing my girl, eh? I'm going to blow up that stinky goat meat inside your head. Now you call your brains, yeah? Michael, Michael, he's going to kill me because of a woman. A woman, a woman, a woman, a woman, a woman. You're going to kill me because of a woman? Come on, kill me, come on. Kill Stop me. it, Kobe, that pistol can go off. Are you guys going crazy, huh? What kind of stupidity is this? I will drive you go to the to the police station for public for doing your public nuisance. This is your last warning. Let me see you trespassing again over my property. Ask Michael, who is maintaining this property? Over your me. property? 
The property? Yeah. It's the same Ask Michael too. The same property that I'm also maintaining. What are they talking about, Michael? Go ahead.
Shut up. Shut up. I run. <laughs> hey. Since when were you appointed as a secret agent to be going around tracking on the good guys? Since when? Uh, what are you talking about? Don't pretend you're my friend, about? as if you don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> huh? Holy devil. Me? Holy devil? Yes, you. Answer my question, holy devil. What were you doing at the coffee shop? What are you guys talking about? Now you don't know what we're talking about. I see you. Answer my question. Like, what do people do in a coffee shop? Now listen to me. <laughs> when you go to the US, in New York, they go to coffee shop to take coffee. Here in Amsterdam, when you go to coffee shop, we go to experience paradise. So what are you talking about? So that's what you guys were doing. You were experiencing paradise, right? Yeah. yeah. This stand here, the woman. woman. A friendly reminder. Huh? Pastor son, Aaron son, Mensa son. Come from that name. Pastor son, Anderson. Please, mom. At least promise me that you you go to a social worker about this, or at least talk to Pastor Mensa about this. Yes, I will. You talk to Pastor Mensa? Yes. You know, I can also talk to him, but I don't want to go behind your back and do that. So please, 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 do that as soon as possible, at least. No, Madonna. I can't. You know I'm traveling to Ghana tomorrow and I'll be away for two weeks. So I'll do that when I return from my trip. But I will keep praying for him. And I think you should do the same. I don't only pray for him, Mom. I also fast too. I don't know, but I love you, Mom, and I love him too. But he always thinks that, I don't know, that, I don't know, he hates me just, he hates me just thinking good things about him. <laughs> no matter what, I'll keep praying for him. Amsterdam, please be prepared for Michael Jackson the second has come to town. Ooh. Michael. Mom! You, you started me. Why, 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 why didn't you why didn't you, you knock before you came in? How many times do I have to knock before you will respond? Eh, Michael? Well, if I don't respond, then you should know that I'm asleep by now. Oh, so you standing there like this? Are you asleep? No, I was going to sleep before you came in. So... Yourself by now. How can a mother sleep, Michael? Eh? When her son goes out the whole day and refuses to come home, look. I'm, 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 I'm home now, right? Please, just, 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 just go to bed. Just let mother sleep, Michael. Eh? Why you try to call your son the whole day? Just to check if he's okay, and you never even take your call, Mom, Michael. Mom, just stop worrying about me, okay? I'm an adult now. Huh? I'm an adult. I'm 21 years old now. Huh? 
For Christ's sake. You are not yet 21, my girl. No, I'll be 21 next week. Just one week to go. Oh. Hmm? Yeah. So at 21, you are old enough that your mother don't even have the right to ask you where you get all the money to buy these expensive items, Michael. But mom, don't don't I have a part-time job after school where I earn the money? Like you work only a few hours after school. Yeah. Even those who work full time or three or four jobs at the same time can afford to be such extravagant. No, no, mom, mom, eh? mom. I'm, I'm, I'm a hard worker. Hmm? And I earn the money and I know how to save it to use it. Oh. Yeah. So you save enough to be able to buy a car? Hmm? Michael, you managed to save enough to buy a car? What are you talking about? The car that you and your friends are driving around. Whose car is it? Tell me. But th that, that is Kobe's father's car. And Kobe's father allows Kobe to drive the car all the time? But then you, you have to ask the, the uh, father of Kobe to do for, for, for... That's an insult, Michael. Mom, that I'm, is an insult. I'm sorry, Mom, but who told you that I bought a car? That was me, Donna. Donna didn't tell me anything. Mom. Donna haven't told me nothing. Mm. So who, who keeps lying to you about me in this house all the time? Donna. Donna didn't tell no, me Donna. anything. Donna. Hey, Donna. Michael, where are you going? No. Donna. Hey, Michael. Michael, come back here. Donna. Hey, Donna didn't tell me. Donna, wake up, wake up. Donna. Who's that? Who, who's who? Did you tell mommy that I bought a new car? Then mommy said I told her that you bought a car. Mommy! Michael, did I mention that Donna eh, told me that you bought a car? I know she's the one that told you that I bought a car. I will teach you a lesson today. Come. It's Michael! <laughs> You see how she, how she pushed me? No. I only know how you push me. In your room there. I swear to God, I'm going to kill you. You want to kill me? I'm going to kill come you. Come on, come. Come, you shall see who will kill who today. Come. Come, I'm waiting for you. What do you mean? <laughs> I'll kill you today. Oh, what are you waiting for? Come, I'm waiting for you. Michael Tyson. Come. 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 Mama, I'm not going to stop. Come. Me. I will kill her. Go ahead and kill her. I will kill her. That's what I'm Come. waiting for. Come. Kill her. Go ahead. Hmm. Do you think Go I'm ahead. joking? Kill her. Come. 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 Kill her. You're lucky I'm, I'm, I'm sleeping. Come. But tomorrow I will deal with you. I will deal with you, Donna. Loser. Oh. Loser. Oh. Loser, loser is Michael. Oh, loser, Michael is a loser. Loser, please, please take care of my son. Please, there is something going wrong with my son. Please, Lord, please help please, my son. Please, ma, your please. son is not falling apart. He's just fine. Is that what you always say? Did you even see how drunk he is? Please stop crying. What you've done. It's your fault. It's whose fault? See, see what, what, what who have done. It's your fault. <coughs> oh God! How? Yes. She's vomited. Take your time. Take your time. Oh God. Ooh, relax. Relax. Come on. Relax. Relax. Not. Come here. She's not 
breathing. So what you've done? Come on! Stop this, man. Be serious. The light is not doing anything. She's, she has collapsed, and you tell me to be serious. Come on. The girl deserves what she wants. Come on, look. What do you look. mean? She deserves what she wants. Are you really serious about it yet? She will be okay, Luca. She just had enough of the drink. Come here. Do you have a hand in this? Look at this. See, there's no pulse. She's not breathing. Alone. We just take her to the bathroom and then... Kobe! You have a hand in this! Hand. I have to call Michael! I'm going to call Michael! Stop! Michael! Michael! Stop! No! Her clothes Come on, on we decided man. to take the clothes off. You, you... Go, go. Just, just go. Just go, man. You guys are crazy. I just, I just said put some water on her. No, not take all her clothes off. Okay. Just go. Go. Take your time, okay? Oh my gosh. Yeah. No, 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 just, 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 just leave. Ah! Okay. David, this go, man. Get out, Donna. Listen. Don't say anything to anyone. Get out. The ambulance. James! James! Come and see Lila. She's in pain. What is it? She's in pain. Can't you see? She's dying. Lila. Lila. I must call the ambulance. Lila. I must call can the ambulance. Lila. I must call the ambulance. Lila, can you hear me? <laughs> Wait. No, I have to call Stop the ambulance. Calling. Wait. Wait for a while. Maybe she will talk to us. Wait, please. No, I, I just don't, don't get it. Why don't let us wait for a while and see if she can, she can talk? Why, why? Let us wait and see if she can talk. We have to wait to see if she can talk. What, what? If she talk, would that stop the pain? Well... Would that stop the pain? Look, can't you see that she's dying? Can't you see? She's in pain! Oh well, my God. I, I just... Leila. Le Leila, are you okay? Leila, are, Le are, are you okay? She's okay. Leila. Look at her. Look at her. Let's go to the ambulance. Please. Damn it. Yeah, hello? Yeah. There's a semi, semi daughter here. She's in pain. Okay. And she's, she's bleeding. Between her ties. Yes, please. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yes. <laughs> She's dying. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Please come quick. Come quick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with her. Yeah, only I'm seeing bleeding. Can you please come quick before I lose my baby? Please. Laila, what did you do to yourself? Oh my God. Have you, have you taken any medicine? What did you do to yourself, baby? Have you taken any medicine? And what for? Huh? Oh God, please, please, please. Save my daughter for me before I lose. Hold yourself, baby. Hold yourself. Hold yourself. Hold yourself. Hold yourself. Hold yourself. Hold yourself. Look at her! Look at her! Lila! Oh my god! Look, look, look! Look at her! 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 Come in. I'm coming. May I come in, Michael? What, what, what's about? 
Your cousin Layla is pregnant. What? By who? That's why I'm here. Because only you can tell who got her pregnant. Donna. Donna. You see, mom. You see what Donna's doing? You see, she's, oh, she's always lying. Why is she? Oh, oh, I'm going to keep her. Listen to me, Michael. Listen to me for once. I'm your mother. I'm going to kill her. I'm going to kill her, mom. I'm Michael! Listen. There is a crisis which calls for soberness. No stupidity. I want us, the family, to know exactly, Michael, what happened on your last birthday. We have to find a way to talk about this so that you and your friends don't go to jail. Michael, we have to talk now. Okay, mom, talk, talk. I'm, I'm listening. Ella was rushed to the hospital after a failed abortion attempt. Michael, what? She's currently in the coma. Lila. But when she regains consciousness, Michael, she's surely going to speak. And then the police will come in. Michael, I want us, the family, to know exactly what happened on your last birthday, Michael. So that we can see how to manage the impending scandal. In our culture, Michael, it's a big taboo for a man for a man to sleep with his own cousin or blood relative. My son, please my son, please Michael, tell me, tell me it was only your friends that molested Lila on that day and that you, Michael, that you did not touch her at all. Mom. Please tell me. I'm just I, I I never I never touched her, mom. That is something that I would never do in my entire life. Mom. God knows. He is my witness. He knows that I only cleaned her up that day and I put my rope on her. Mom, I didn't touch her. I believe you, my son. I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I want to. I, I'm so sorry. But please just forgive me. I believe you, Michael. Just. Michael. Michael. Was Lila conscious? Or was she unconscious at the time of the incident? She, she was unconscious, ma'am. But I came to find out that Kobe put a drug in her drink on her blind side. The same Kobe have warned not to come to this house again? Michael! And you invited him in here for your birthday party? You see why you have to stay away, Michael. Why you need to stay away from bad company? Why you have to listen to your mother when she wants you about bad company? I'm 
I'm sorry. I I I keep breaking your heart, and I don't know why I keep doing it. Mom, I I don't know. I I I need help because I don't know what pushes me to do all those things. Mom, I I need help. I, that's what I need. I need help. I love I, you. Mom, I, I I love you so much, my son. And I always try my best to help and protect you. But you always reject my help and my advice. <laughs> the mother of the patient, so I need, I need some in, uh, introduction here. He is... He's my, he's my pastor. Your pastor? Yes. Yeah. The issue at hand now is very sensitive. It's a strictly family. Would you like him to sit in? He's more than a family. Oh, good. You know, the issue at hand now is a very sensitive one, and it's of a nature that I will urge you, madam, to work, wait for us over here while I take the pastor into my office. Then he will just come in. From you later, okay? I'm the mother. I knew that you are the mother, but I'm urging you to wait a while over here while I go inside to my office with the pastor. Okay. He will inform you later about it. Just okay? sit down, wait for us. We'll be right back. You said it's your pastor, he's trusting and everything. So, uh, as a man, I want to talk to him so that yeah. man and man talk. We'll be right okay? Back. Just take time. Yes? She even knew the one who impregnated her. Is the same man who aided in attempting to abort the pregnancy. <laughs> yes. And that person is. Pastor. Hello, mother. Mm. Can I help you? No, no, no. Mm. What do you mean? Yes, sir. Doctor will be with you. Oh, office, thank you. Pastor, Pastor, what did he tell you? Please, speak quickly. Otherwise, I'm going to faint. No, you're not faint. <laughs> No, I'm not going to sit until you tell me what is wrong with my baby Layla. Is Layla going to die? No, far from it. Far from it, Sister Joa. But you need to get strength to take what is coming. What is it then, Pastor? Let's pray. Father Lord, Many are the trials your children go through, but you always provide them the needed support, comfort, and strength. We need now. We need that now, Lord. Father Lord, we need that now. The doctor told me. Leila has confessed to them earlier on. She told them she has given them the identity of the man that made her pregnant. And it's the same man that put her through the abortion attempt. Pastor, we know that already. It's Michael. No, Sister Joa. It's not my kid. Yeah. Oh. Are you sure your husband is really sick and he has headache? No. Don't involve my husband inside this. Oh. No! Please, don't involve my husband. He cannot do this.
police. I'm looking for someone. Hello. Um, I'm looking for James. James? James, yes. My husband? Yeah. Is he at home? No. What for? Well, uh, he needs to tell him uh, his cell, so I need to speak him. Yes. So he's not in the house? No. You sure? Yes, please. Okay. I believe you. Um, when he's back, yes, let him to call the police. My name is Gregory. I need to speak him. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah? Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm stopping by to get the latest on Leila. Oh, there is a good news. Leila has regained her consciousness. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I told you God was in charge. That he will get us out all of this yeah. to shame the devil. Yeah. But, Pastor, there is a problem. What is it? The DNA test. The two friends of Michael. The test come negative. So right now, it's Michael and all who is suspected. Impregn impregnated his own case. Oh no. Well, since the pregnancy is gone and Michael has finally turned himself in to the police. You don't need to be worried. Michael has turned himself in? When? You mean your sister, Lydia, hasn't told you? No. She's the one that told me about this. You know what? My sister Lydia, eh? <sighs> Since the day, you know, he found out that I reported the case to the, to the police. He has changed, you know. I see the way he approached me is different. Sister Joy, this shouldn't destroy the relationship both of you have. Let's go to the car and let's drive to the hospital. Okay, let's go. You hosted the party and you brought them in. Where were you when the assault was going on? Well, I was in my uh, in the bedroom, actually the, the 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 living room with my girlfriend, because we were having some fun there. And then all of a sudden, a friend of mine came in, and then I went into the bed uh, to the bathroom, and that's when I saw what had ha really happened. I see. Okay, now we've already tested your two friends on DNA. Yes. And they all tested negative. And so you are the only man that was with them at the party. So you need to be tested too. Yeah, but if, if, if Lila was pregnant, mm -hmm. and if she still is pregnant, I cannot believe that it happened in my house. She was impregnated somewhere else. I'm sure of that. Okay. Uh, were you aware your friends had a rape drug, ketamine, on them? Ketamine. Mm -hmm. Ketamine. I've never heard of that come name on, come before. Don't act surprised. Ketamine. I've never heard of it, of it before. If I knew that they had some intentions like that, I would never invite them for my birthday party. Mm -hmm. I would have never have done that. Well, ketamine is a drug with hallucinogenic and hypnotic properties. It acts fast. And it is colorless odorless and tasteless and so when you mix it in a drink no one can detect it within 20 to 30 minutes the victim can fall unconscious and in some cases people die boy you are lucky your cousin is still alive otherwise you'd have been in the deep shit oh, well. that is yet another shocking revelation about james totally unbelievable 
know the stolen money into the accounts of these innocent kids and allow them to use some for their own gratification. You know, these boys splash the money on very expensive things like crazy. My son Aaron tells me Michael and his friends have put a car. Yes. Yes, sister. Could you believe I want my sister? I guess marry this dubious character called James. Well, I heard ugly rumors at the time. She was, you did. And she scoffed at me. You know, not long ago, I warned her about the possibility of James sexually molesting Lila. And again, she threw my caution in my face. If I draw somebody, she would have brought me back my stone long ago. Mom, Aaron just called me to tell me that there's breaking news on TV. About what? Let me find out. Leiding van James, die vanochtend in Rotterdam een ferry ticket probeerde te kopen naar Londen. De twee handlangers van de voeten en zijn zeer, zijn zeer geavanceerde misdaadorganisatie, die betrokken is bij internetfraude, het hacken van e-mailaccounts voor het witwassen van geld en in de regel slag miljoenen euro's van hun slachtoffers te stelen, voornamelijk vrouwen die op zoek zijn naar liefde en ouderen. De meest het grootste deel van het geld terug naar hun thuisland. En zetten vervolgens een deel over naar een mobiele account van jongeren hier in Amsterdam en andere steden. De jongeren weten het makkelijk te verdienen door geld te lokken. Vervolgens krijgen ze toegang tot het geld van de bankrekeningen van de jongens. Terwijl de jonge ouders meekijken op de bankrekeningen van hun kinderen. Vooral als ze een dure leefstijl hebben. Bij veroordeling kan een verdachte meer dan vier jaar gevangenisstraf krijgen. Nu op naar het andere nieuws. So basically what you're just saying is that they, uh, they caught James, Uncle James in Rotterdam and he was taking a ferry to London so that's where they caught him and he was actually working with two people, uh, two extra people but those people have not yet found them and what they do is they do money laundering, they scam people, they do hacking of emails and they get into your accounts and all those kind of things and their speciality is uh, uh, um, scamming elderly women who are lonely and stuff like that and they have more than millions of dollars and what do you, do you uh, the things that they do to like keep their money safe is they use like younger, uh, uh, young people to uh, put all the money in their accounts and all that. So when you see maybe some a young child or something like that uh, uh, having like flashy cars and all this flashy lifestyle, it can be that they are in such a situation. Hey! Oh, wow. I try, I warn you. I warn you, I try. I warn you. So far. When God himself is coming after you, you can run, but you cannot hide. Brother James! Goodness! I warned you. I warned you. 